Hey, this is BP from the band of Montreal at Lala Palooza. Palooza was kind of like, you know, the first European style festival that I can remember, and probably the first set of festival stuff since the 60s, and then probably all the festivals died out in the 70s that you, you, know, you read about and you heard about, and you know, why don't we have those? And so, yeah, Lala Palooza was like the, the pinnacle. You know, it was like the very fact that we were even playing with Lala Palooza. You know, I wish it was the traveling event that it used to be. That would have been a lot of fun to do. But, uh, yeah, it was a few different things, and of course with Grace Jones, she was headlining, so it was kind of, even though it was billed as a co-headline bill, I mean, come on, it was Grace Jones' show. Uh, so yeah, there were, we still pulled out all the stops, we had Jan Janelle Monet came with us, she's actually going to play with us again, so yeah, we, we pulled out the stops, and we've got special stuff that we've made, like props and theatrical things that we're going to do here today in Lollapalooza, we've never done before. Hopefully every band wants to have good packaging. It's, it's kind of like something that just blows my mind when I see like people release things that just look horrible. You know, I think everybody wants their thing to be a unique kind of package. And the thing about the industry is it's become so homogenized. You know, it's just like this is what a milk carton looks like, and this is what a CD looks like, and this is going to be a jewel case with like a, you know, it's going to pull out a couple of pages and it's all standard. What we're trying to do is create something that people want to actually have as an object that would be something of positivity in their life in some way like buying a painting or, or do something else that you know it's not just like this discardable object you know if you're gonna buy a physical object and make it something worthwhile CDs they just kind of like rip the disc into the computer put it in iTunes and then they forget about it and it's more like kind of a hassle for some people they'd rather just have it digitally but we're offering uh, well you could have like a weird crazy poster for your wall or a t-shirt or, or a lantern or a set of wall decals or you know whatever it is that's something you actually would use and hopefully is artistically pleasing and cool that you like and then you also get the music so that's kind of like the philosophy of where we are now. You better embrace it. I mean there's no point in denying it you know. You know uh, for some of my new projects that I'm working on I'm thinking about not releasing it on CD at all. It's gonna be vinyl and digital download only. Some other friends of mine have been releasing vinyl only, but the CD comes inside. So you only, you always get the vinyl record. There's not a CD. It's just a vinyl, it's a vinyl with the CD as a bonus, just for it. Because it only costs a few cents to make them anyway. So why not just buy And then it was kind of a fun, not a funny thing, but you know, it was kind of like a curiosity of to see if the, uh, the recession was gonna affect people coming to the shows and stuff. Um, I'd say maybe somewhat, maybe a little.